Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're diving into the mysterious world of SCP-1237, the Epsilon Wave. This little number falls under the object class, Keter, so you know we're in for a wild ride. Let's not waste any time and get right into it, shall we? SCP-1237, also known as the Epsilon Wave, poses a unique containment challenge due to its widespread and intangible nature. As a result, traditional containment methods are ineffective. As of now, containment efforts are primarily centered around controlling information and identifying and isolating individuals who have been affected by SCP-1237-1. SCP-1237-1 Negative individuals do not experience rapid eye movement REM, activity during deep sleep, while SCP-1237-1 positive individuals do. The dreams experienced during an SCP-1237 event are not significantly different from the dreams experienced by negatives, they may involve the dreamer participating in routine daily activities or finding themselves in impossible or illogical situations. They may also find themselves in terrifying scenarios. The subject has no control over the setting or events of the dream or their actions therein. However, during an SCP-1237 state, the brain waves responsible for REM activity and SCP-1237 activity interact to produce a reality-altering effect. After an SCP-1237 event occurs, any physical or mental changes that occur to the subject in the dream will also occur to their waking form. If the dream involves persons or places that the subject has personally interacted with or visited, those persons and places will be altered as well in accordance with the nature of the dream. Imaginary persons or places, or persons or places not personally known by the subject, are not affected. Transformation is instantaneous in all observed cases. Memories of people not involved in the dream are generally unaffected. People encountering persons affected by an SCP-1237 event will believe that the changes are correct and that the person has always been that way, however, they will have memories that this is not the case. Attempts to reconcile this among witnesses to an SCP-1237 event tend to result in chronic uneasiness, paranoia, and redacted. Documented effects of SCP-1237 events have included, a very small percentage of SCP-1237-1 positives, believed to be in single digits worldwide, designated SCP-1237-1-L, are capable of lucid dreaming, the ability to control the nature of their dreams, including those occurring in SCP-1237 events. To date, only one SCP-1237-1 L has been identified by the Foundation, see for details pertaining to its disposition. Any non-Foundation scientific research leading to the discovery of SCP-1237 is to be suppressed by any means necessary. Researchers involved in such studies may be conscripted as Foundation personnel or D-Class. The foundation is to promote widespread DNA testing of civilians to identify SCP-1237-1 positives, including mandatory testing of sex offenders and other convicted offenders, DNA testing for employment or insurance eligibility, DNA fingerprinting for identification, universal prenatal screenings, and home DNA testing kits for ancestry. All foundation personnel and civilians aware of the foundation's existence must be tested immediately. The medical community is to be informed that an SCP-1237-1 positive result in a prenatal screening indicates a deformative condition with low viability and extreme health risk to the mother. Doctors are advised to recommend the termination of such pregnancies, and involuntary abortion is authorized if necessary. The foundation is to sponsor organizations providing prenatal screening and abortion services in developing countries where these services are unavailable. If unsuccessful, sponsorship of organizations participating in campaigns of involuntary sterilization, ethnic cleansing, or genocide is authorized against populations with statistically high rates of SCP-1237-1. Individuals experiencing an SCP-1237 event are to be detained for study and testing. 
If SCP-1237-1 negative, they are to be debriefed, given a Class B amnestic, and released. Those found to be SCP-1237-1 positive or causing an SCP-1237 incident are to be detained for study, debriefed, administered a Class Omega amnestic, and detained indefinitely. They are to be regularly dosed with Class C amnestics, benzodiazepines, and, and monitored at all times by EEG. If any positive enters an SCP-1237 state during observation, they are to be terminated immediately. If an SCP-1237-1-L is identified, authorization is granted to employ them once to neutralize a Keter-class SCP object at the discretion of O5. After the attempt, the subject is to be terminated immediately. If a high-profile person or public place is affected by an SCP-1237 event, the Foundation is authorized to take whatever steps necessary to prevent public knowledge of this change, including termination or destruction of the person or place. It is crucial for all agents assigned to SCP-1237 containment to understand the potential danger of this phenomenon. It is emphasized that any means necessary to implement universal DNA testing and remove these people from the gene pool is authorized, with no margin of error for mercy. This organization sometimes requires the execution of difficult tasks in the name of the greater good, even if they make it difficult to sleep at night. These tasks must be carried out until the threat is neutralized because it only takes one positive dream to change the world in disastrous ways.